evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Today, we are playing, that's right, the deck to beat Burning Abyss this time for Nostalgia Month. Burning Abyss is a very, very good deck, and it's always been a good deck since its inception and Duelist Alliance, and today, I'm going to be playing against a Fluffle opponent. This is actually a good representation of when Burning Abyss doesn't necessarily have all of the cards that you need uh, to establish a certain amount of board that you want, but you can still make some type of plays. I'm going to use Fiend Grieving to shuffle his Fluffle monster back into his deck. The unfortunate side is that I know he drew another Fluffle Wings, so it's not really that great right now. Then he's going to summon Fluffle Owl to add Polymerization, and now I am in for really, really, really big trouble, provided that he does try to go for the OTK and does get rid of my back row. So he's going to activate Polymerization. Polymerization is going to allow him to go into Fluffle Tiger. And he's going to go into Fluffle Tiger now. And Fluffle Tiger too strong. All the back row. Thank God for Solemn Notice or Solemn Warning or Solemn whatever it wants to be, okay? And then he's going to activate his Fluffle Wings, which you all expected, giving him a huge ton of advantage. As you guys can see, it's five cards to my three. But Burning Abyss is somehow going to pull up on this. How does Burning Abyss pull up on this? We don't really need to say nothing much else. He's going to go ahead and activate the effect of Fright for Fusion to go for Fright for Tiger again and activate its effect targeting my back row. That's when the Cali effect... Nah, we're going to time face trap hole and unfortunately i do have to lose my uh fire lake be or not my fire lake my my traveler because i need tour guide to my hand we're gonna flip the phoenix royal rival tour guide from the underworld is gonna special summon graph and now we're gonna go combo licious and this is exactly what this deck is built for being able to you know set up certain boards that your opponent just can't really overcome this time around it's gonna be double dante because i'm gonna send graph graph's gonna special summon seer and then i'm gonna exceed summon again into the second dante and then, yeah, this is not looking nice for him because I do have the mass change too. We're going to send the Phoenix Warrior Rhino and activate Seer Effect. Oh my God. Did I just special summon Seer and then mill the second Seer? Cali Effect 2. <laughs> Cali Effect 2. Good. Excuse me. We're going to swing for that max damage. That damage. Shift our monsters to defense. Set the mass change too. And then think about going into something I don't need to go into. Skarm's going to go ahead and add... Uh, that's not really much we can't get. We're going to get Farfa. Just in case if he makes a monster that I don't really agree with, you know, I can always just stop it. He's going to summon Fluffle Dog. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and mash change right now. Might not have been the most amazing thing or the sexiest move to make. But I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, get that double banish. The one card for the field and then the Dark Law for him searching. And it just so happens to be the card he searches. Going to go ahead and spuff summon Skarm. Skarm into the graveyard. And now I am set up. All of his cards monsters are banished, so when he does fusion summon, he can't go ahead and fight for fusion or do any of that other BS that the opponent tries to do. And he's going to go into the sheet. Do you not remember Dark Law too strong? Dark Law is really, really good in this deck. Being able to activate your Burning Abyss monsters effect and also, you know, putting pressure on the opponent since searching is pretty good this format. This time around, I'm going to take a more lazier approach. I'm going to go ahead and send Dante for three, and then I'm going to mill the pig. Pig's going to do a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, my God. Double Dante, too good, Cali Effect, too good, too good, he's going in, oh, yeah, I guess I really don't have any much else to send, so we'll send Cogna, Cogna Effect, we're going to send Good and Evil, and then, no, Beatrice, stay where you're at, we're, we're gonna, oh, we're going to make Beatrice, oh god, you should have put it in defense, and then you should have set the breakthrough skill in the Twin Twisters, Cali Effect. Why, why must you torment me? Now, imagine that against any other strong board. Beatrice in defense, Twin Twisters, and Breakthrough Skill phased out with the Seer in hand. I'm not 100% sure a lot of decks will be able to, I don't know, do anything against that. And even if I, I think I probably should play Alec because, you know, Beatrice for Alec on my opponent's turn just might be a little good. He's going to activate Tune Table of Contents, and that's going to set up his deck. And now I'm like, I'm playing against Tunes? Hmm. Well, it'd be really nice if he activates, like, Magic Reflector or something to protect it. I, I'd be pretty screwed. He's going to set back row and summon his Toon Geminis. But, unfortunately, he's heavily crippled because, you know, I'm going first and I have the setup. I'm going to go ahead and send Dante. Dante is going to allow me... Or send Dante through Beatrice, which allows me to send another card to my graveyard, which allows me to stack my deck. So, you know, that's... That's pretty good, you know, when you're playing. You, you want to be able to stack your deck before you get the draw cards. So, yeah, I just thought that I should throw that out there. We're going to stack the Traveler. Dante is going to have the Fire Lake. I don't think there's much that the opponent can do uh, with this type of board that I, you know, committed to the side of the field. It's pretty much going to be game, double Dante, uh, Beatrice, Fire Lake, and uh, the Traveler of the Burning Abyss. Not many decks can, you know, overcome something like that with the Breakthrough Skill because the Cali Effect is really, really good at having, you know, crucial cards at crucial times. So we're going to go ahead and enter our battle phase and swing for that max damage dead damage and then i mean pass it back to him i don't really know how you recover from that the very third game is actually going to be a mirror match 
and I was extremely excited to to play against uh, one subscriber that actually knew who I was, but um, I just didn't really want to say anything because you know he kind of like you know kind of scares me. He's, he's like, uh, am I gonna be on YouTube? And I'm like, yeah, you're gonna be on YouTube. It's gonna be great. Oh my god. Uh, shout out to you. Definitely really fun game to play. Uh, Wolfgang Games. I uh, really hope you guys. I hope you really hope you enjoyed this feature. And I'm gonna be playing it in some mirror match, like I said before. He's gonna special summon Limpic, and then I'm gonna, he's gonna special summon Seer. And I'm like, oh please yes, please yes, please yes. Oh my god. It's nothing worse than losing your Dante and not being able to get your attachments at the very least. And he's gonna go ahead and chain Book of Moon. I I think he's thinking that if he Book of Moon's my monster, uh, Universe resolves into no effect. Um, which is not true because Universe just needs to, you know, select the monsters as targets as first. Now, granted, he does get uh, Dante's effect uh, to gain, you know, Seer back to his hand. But I get a Cyber Dragon Infinity and a Dante on my side of the board as well as card effects that were attached to Dante to the graveyard. Um, he's going to go ahead and activate Regeki. And I'm kind of forced to use Cyber Dragon Infinity's effects and negate it. Um, and then he's going to summon Crane Crane to make a board. And I'm like, oh, all right, that's why you special summon both. Double Dante too good. Unfortunately, it's met by a time space trap hole, and he gets nothing from that Dante summon. We're gonna go ahead and normal summon tour guide in the underworld. Underworld is gonna special summon. What are we getting, Cali Effect? Are you going in today? He's going in. He's going in. He's going in. Yeah, go ahead and get Libic. Libic? Oh my god, Cali Effect, you're not going in. You're going hard. He's gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and make Dante, and then he activates Rageki Break to get rid of my affinity. I'm not 100% sure why he did that. Uh, mainly because, you know, it prevented me from summoning other Burning Abyss monsters while I had Infinity on the field. I thought about going into, you know, Utopia to, uh, you know, completely, you know, take his Dante. But I was like, nah, nah, Beatrice, Beatrice for the, for the Farfa, too good, too good. And now we're going to special summon more monsters and attack for max damage. I felt that Beatrice is a really good addition to the Burning Abyss strategy, mainly because it does allow us to send uh, Burning Abyss cards from our decks to our graveyard, and its second effect is just icing on the cake, allowing me to special summon Dante Pilgrim to the side of the field uh, to furthermore negate opponent's card effects. So, you know, while we're going to go ahead and activate the effect of Beatrice again, our target's going to be Farfa because, you know, Farfa's uh, pretty good. Yeah. Farfa, Dante's effect is going to activate. Uh, Dante is going to add Barbar -Bar because I can double Barbar -Bar him for game. And then uh, he's going to go ahead and Fiend Griefing uh, one of the cards. I forgot which card he exactly put to my deck. I think it was uh, maybe the wrong Farfa. -Far -Far or maybe it was Farfa, but Farfa's effect already activated, so it didn't matter. Um, I already know that with that, he's going to, you know, get Seer. Seer special summon another monster. But if I just summon another monsters on the board, that'll be good. If I can get 200 likes for this deck, that is amazing. And if you guys really want to support the Cali Effect, you can always go to the link in the description and go to my Google Docs where you can buy some amazing cards. Cyber Dragon Infinity is still alive, and it's in one of the best decks of the format. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. But most of all, enjoy.